Okay, in this video, I'd like to show you how to solder a three-axis accelerometer chip. I'll show you right here. What happens is uh, you can't typically see underneath these chips, so it's, it's tough to know if it's making a connection or not. Uh, this one just fell off, so there was hardly any solder. That's how it should go. These chips are great, you know, they uh, they detect motion on three axes and so forth, and you can use it to wake up the CPU uh, to know when something's moving or your, your product is moving. So we'll go ahead and get this soldered. So first thing to do, fire up the soldering iron. And we're going to get a little flux. Put some flux on the part. Let's get some, get some solder. What we want to do is get some flux and get some uh, solder on there so we know that the part has solder. Next thing we'll uh, put some more flux down on the board. There's not enough solder on the on the pad, so we'll just put a little bit down. There we go. Okay, we're gonna line it up. Pin one is the circle. Get our hot air. Now this this part is rather forgiving, so you can go at it direct. Now you can also heat the part from underneath the board. That works well if you have a delicate part. Part sits on there a little crooked, but that's fine. Uh, you almost want that because when it starts to, when the solder melts, you see the part start to uh, move, move around alignment. As the solder melts near the end, you'll see me tap the part. This is important to make sure good solder contact is made. You can see it. That should do it. Let it cool off a second. choose you can clean it off and 
And I tend to leave it on there uh, and it provides a little bit of waterproofing. So now if we plug it in, it should recognize the part, so it should not blink three times quickly. And there we go. It's normal. So the CPU is talking to the chip properly. If you like this video, please uh, comment, subscribe. Thank you for watching.